Coffee Break Chinese, Season 1, Episode 24. Coffee Break Chinese. 我是马克。大家好，我是Crystal。很高兴和大家一起学习中文。太棒了，Mark. I'm getting good at that. 非常好。Okay, <laughs> I practice that in my sleep. I think. You know? <laughs> We're back with another episode of Coffee Break Chinese. This is episode 24, and we're looking at the topic of making a phone call. And I have to be honest, making a phone call, I think, is one of the most stressful things that you have to do in a foreign language when you're learning a language. But Mark, it's a very useful skill to have. It is, whether you're making a phone call to arrange something or indeed, if you're in a business context, sometimes making a phone call and getting through to someone um, is very important. Indeed. Let's then get on with our lesson. 准备好了吗? 准备好了,开始吧! Okay, Crystal, let's begin by talking about the actual word for telephone. What is the telephone? 电话 No, I think we've spoken about this before. 电 is like the electric. electric. Yeah, and 话 meaning speech. speech. Okay, as in 普通话. 对. Right, so 电话 is the telephone, and to use the telephone oh, to is make. to make a call. Yeah, 打, that's the verb. 打. 打, 打电话, to make a phone call. Mm. So that's what we're focusing on in this lesson. I guess my first question is, what do you say when you answer the phone in, in Chinese? In English, we say hello. Yep. In Chinese, we say wei. Wei. I think we've covered that or we've talked about that word way, way back in the, way, way, way back mm-hmm. in, the, <laughs> in the course. So do we just say way or do we just say something else when we answer the phone? You could simply say way, hello. Mm-hmm. You could also add hello, ni hao. So way, ni hao. Now the chances are in this phone conversation, the next thing that we might ask is who's speaking. Yeah. Nei, wei. All right, okay, that, that's a little confusing. <laughs> so okay. we've had wei and that's second tone. Uh-huh. And then your next... Nei, wei. Nei, wei. Uh-huh. Can you explain what's going on there? Nei, meaning which or whom. Yeah. Wei is the measure word for person in a very polite way for people. Okay. So nei, wei, which person are you? Right. Nei, wei. Who are you or who's mm-hmm. speaking? Mm-hmm. And so to answer that, ah, here's a, here's a question. In Mandarin, would I say it's Mark or I'm Mark? I am Mark. Okay, so in English, I guess, uh, who's speaking? Ah, it's Mark here. Mm. But in Mandarin, I am Mark. Yeah. So could I just say, 我是马克? Yeah. So um, let, let's try that beginning of our phone 好. call. Okay, mm. ring, ring. <laughs> Wei, ni hao. Could I repeat Wei? Yeah. Yeah. Wei ni hao. Then I would ask, Nei Wei. Wo shi ma ke. Ah, perfect. Okay, right. So the, the it's natural for me to repeat Wei ni hao. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Okay, good, good. Now let's imagine that we are phoning and we want to speak to someone in particular. So how would I say, um, for example, can I speak to Mr. Lee, please? Yeah, but in Chinese we ask, is Mr. Lee available? Right. Yeah, so we say, Ni xian shen. Zai ma? Li xian xian zai ma? Mm. So that's that same zai as in at, yes, isn't it? Yes. Right. So Mr. or, or Li, Mr. at question. question. Right. Yeah. That's straightforward enough. Mm. Uh, 请问, li xian xian zai ma? And I guess then the next thing that's likely to happen is that we might be told to hold and, on or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 请稍等 Qing, shao deng. Yeah, deng is to wait. Mm-hmm. Shao means short, very short period of time. So wait a little bit. Right. Qing, shao deng. Mm. Qing, shao deng. Okay. Now, what if Mr. Li is not available, if he's not there? Li xian sheng bu zai. That's really easy. He's uh-huh. not there. Li xian sheng bu zai. Right. He's not there. Could we add in a, a xian zai? He's not there at the moment. Mm-hmm. So if, if Mr. Li wasn't here or is not available at the moment, would yeah. I say li xiang sheng, uh, xian zai bu zai? Perfect. So Mr. Li is not available at mm-hmm. the moment. 
Okay, let's let's change it around and ask about someone else. Wang Tai Tai Zai Ma. So that's Mrs. Wang. Mm. Okay, uh, Wang Tai Tai Zai Ma mm. is Mrs. Wang uh, available. Mm. Okay, uh, Wang Tai Tai Xian Zai Bu Zai. Mrs. Wang is not available not now. Not available now, okay. no. So uh, if Mrs. Wang or Mr. Lee is not available now, how would we say, can you call back later? Mm. Right, there's a lot going on in there, Crystal. Mm-hmm. Um, first of all, you've you've used nin as opposed to ni. Right. Um, so that's just more, more polite, isn't it? So yeah, I think you said nin yi. And then what was the next word? Wan dian. What's that? Wan is late. As in wanan. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Dian, a little bit. So a bit later. A bit later. Wan dian. Wan dian. dian. And I say da lai. Da is in da dian hua. Make. To call, yeah. yeah. To uh-huh. call. Lai is to come. So you call in a bit later. Ah, right. So it's kind of like, can you come back and call yes, later kind of thing. Right. Okay. So the whole thing was nin ke yi Wan dian da lai ma. Let's hear it one more time. Ning ke yi wan dian da lai ma. Okay. Um, the other situation perhaps would be leaving a message. Um, so perhaps rather than can you call back later, what about would you like to leave a message? Yeah. Ning xiang liu yan ma. So liu yan. Leave a message. Liu is to leave. Uh-huh. Yan is a message. Right. Nin xiang liu yan ma. Mm. Could I say wo ke yi liu yan ma? Mm-hmm. Can I leave a message? Precisely. Is that too, too oh, literal? Okay. No, it's fine. Very, very good. Let's uh-huh. hear it again then. Wo ke yi liu yan ma? Wo ke yi liu yan ma? Right. right. Um, so uh, we've got either the situation where can you call back later? Uh, Nin ke yi wan dian da lai. No. Da lai ma? Mm-hmm. Or, uh, nin xiang liu yan ma? Would you like to leave a message? Mm-hmm. Right. Um, perhaps the person who's answered the phone might need my phone number mm-hmm. in order for Mr. Li or Mrs. Wang to, mm-hmm. to call me back. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think we've, we've talked about phone numbers before, haven't we? Yes, when we, we have. did numbers. Mm-hmm. So, um, the, the telephone number is what again? Dian hua hao ma. Dian hua hao ma. The hao is the number part. Yes. And the ma, what's that? All together, hao ma is number. Ah, okay. Hao ma. Dian hua hao ma. Okay. So, what is your telephone number, please? 请问你的电话号码是多少? So, are you asking there how much is your telephone number? <laughs> because it's a number. It's a number. Ah, yes. okay. 请问... 你的电话号码是多少? 非常好 So what is your telephone number? Okay, so I can give my phone number. <laughs> we'll do that when we come to the conversation uh-huh. a little later. Is there any kind of way that we need to finish a phone call? Um, 谢谢再见, normally. Okay, so there's yeah. no formula or no particular word we need to use. No. Okay, well, uh, I, I don't want to say this too, too too confidently, but it all seems straightforward mm. enough. Just a few words in there that we need to think about. Um, shall we have a, a conversation? We've, we've come up with a conversation here where I am calling in and, and Crystal this time is taking in the part of the receptionist. Okay, let's have a listen to this conversation. Wei,你好,请问,张明先生在吗? 我的电话号码是幺三九二七八八四八六零。好的，没问题。谢谢，再见。不用谢，再见，彭先生。
Okay, now there are a few things that we do need to go over in this conversation, um, but let's have a listen again, first of all. I'll do my best to sound as authentic as I can. <laughs> I'm not quite sure if I do You'll sound be very fine. authentic. <laughs> okay, let's have a go again. Hao 我的电话号码是多少？我的电话号码是幺三九二七八八四八六零。好的，没问题。谢谢，再见。不用谢，再见，彭先生。Okay, now Crystal, one of the things that I am thinking about immediately here is uh, when we actually give the phone numbers. Uh, I suddenly remembered as we were reading through the script that when we say one as a phone number, it changes. Yao. Yao as opposed to E. Do any of the other numbers change? Nope, not in this case. Not no. for phone numbers. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's go back through our conversation. Once again, we're using a, a more formal form. We're using nin mm. as opposed to ni. Mm. So let's begin. The receptionist said. Ning hao. Hello. Chang chen fan dian. So this is the Great Wall Hotel. Right. Okay. So I said, Wei, ni hao. So, hello. And then I asked if I could speak to Mr. Zhang Ming. Right. So is is Mr. Zhang Ming there? Uh-huh. 请问张明先生在吗? And the answer was? 对不起,张先生不在. So Mr. Zhang is not available. 请问您哪位? So, please may I ask, who are you? Um, and I said, Ke. I give my name and I also give an interesting fact, I'm from Scotland. <laughs> Perhaps this would help the receptionist <laughs> to remember. To remember, yeah. Yes. Well, or, or at least give me an excuse as to why my Chinese is so bad. What song su lai? I am from Scotland. Okay, so the receptionist went on to say, Peng liu yan ma? So, uh, what you're asking here is, Mr. Peng, Ning Xiang Liu Yan Ma, do you want to leave a message? Right. And then I went on to say, 好的. Okay. 请张先生打电话给我. Right, so this is something that we didn't cover in our lesson, but we, we know all these words, and it's just a case of putting them all together. So, mm-hmm. 请张先生, mm-hmm. so, Please, Mr. Zhang, da dian hua, give a call or make a call gay wa to, to me. me. So that's like, give me the salt or pass me the sun, something. Um, so please give me a call, mm. Mr. Zhang, mm. and so on. Okay? 请问您的电话号码是多少? The receptionist asks me for my phone number. Uh, and I say, what a dianhua hao ma shi. My phone number is, let's see if we can get this phone number, yao san jiao er qi ba ba si ba liu ling. Wei chang hao. So, one three nine two seven eight eight four eight uh, six zero. Wei chang hao. Okay. And uh, then the receptionist said, 好的,没问题. No problem. And I thanked and said goodbye. 谢谢,再见. 不用谢,再见,彭先生. <laughs> so Mr. Peng, you're getting a little too familiar there, Crystal. <laughs> okay, so that's a great example of a phone call conversation. And after the break, we're going to be talking a little more about communications in the sense of the internet. So we'll be back soon. We'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that you can get more out of your Coffee Break Chinese experience by signing up for our full course on the Coffee Break Academy. In addition to the audio lessons, you'll get access to bonus listening materials, lesson notes and video versions of each lesson, showing the Mandarin words and phrases written out in pinyin and Chinese characters. 
You can find out more at coffeebreakchinese.com. Okay, welcome back. We are talking about communications today. We've been looking at making phone calls and now we're going to go on and talk a little bit about the internet because obviously if you're traveling, Mm -hmm. it's good to be able to check your email and and so on. However, before we do that, Crystal, I want to ask you some things about, about using the internet in China. Is the internet generally widely available? Indeed, very, very available Mm -hmm. in China and Wi-Fi is available like on buses, restaurants, um, museums, libraries, you know, almost everywhere. So if I'm traveling in in China, will I be able to access all the the sites that I would normally access if I want to check my Facebook, for example? There are some restrictions, like Facebook is not working in China, Google is not working in China, YouTube is not working in China. However, there are other sites you can use. For Mm -hmm. example, uh, the equivalent of uh, Google in China is called Baidu. So when we say, just Google it, but in China we say, I do it. Okay, right. Um, and are, in terms of social networks, I've, I've heard of, is it Wei, WeChat? Wei, Wei, WeChat, okay. Yeah, so it spells like Wei, you and me, yeah. chat. Mm-hmm. Let's chat, basically. Yeah. Okay. WeChat. And am I right in thinking that with WeChat, you can also post photos or stories that your friends can, can read? Yeah, you not can. Not just person-to-person communication. Mm-mm. You can put like a group. Yes. Yeah, okay. You could. But you can also use WeChat to have a free telephone call with yeah. your friends and also video calls or conference calls. Okay. Okay. Let's think a little more about the internet. How do we see the internet in, in Mandarin? Uh, hu lian wang. Hu lian Wang. So word by word, hu means together or hu xiang, you know, together. Mm-hmm. And lian is to connect. Yep. Wang is the net. Okay. So we're connecting together over mm-hmm. the net. Mm-hmm. Uh, hu lian wang. Okay. So how would I say, let's say I'm in a hotel and I want to ask, can I use the internet here? 我可以用互联网吗? So the yong, what is that use? use? Mm-hmm. So I can use internet question. yong hu lian wang ma? Can I use the internet here? And it's the kind of thing that I might want to ask in a in a cafe or in a restaurant mm. or in in a hotel, as we mm. said. Actually, Mark, there's a simpler expression about whether you can use the internet or not. Mm-hmm. We use shang wang. Shang Wang. It means internet surfing. Okay. Mm-hmm. So the Wang is still that uh, net. net. Mm-hmm. And then Shang. Surfing. Surfing. So is that really like surfing as in what you do in the sea? Yeah. Okay. Shang Wang. Yeah. So would I say, Wo ke yi Shang Wang ma? Yeah. Right. So can I surf the net? Mm. And if I want to say here, um, can I just add in char in mm-hmm. the beginning? So char, Wo ke yi. Shang Wang Ma. Perfect. Can I use the internet here? Now, I've decided I want to use the internet. I've asked my question and I may be told yes or no or whatever. But mm-hmm. if I'm told yes, then I guess the next thing I'll need is the password. Right. If there's a Wi Fi password, for example. So, how would we talk about the Wi Fi password? Wi Fi Mi Ma. So, we just say Wi Fi. Yeah, but if you really want to say in Chinese, Wu Xian Wang. Wu Xian Wang. Wu means no, mm-hmm. Xian means wire, Wang means net. So wireless, wireless net. network. Okay, mm-hmm. so Wu Xian Wang. And then the password was? Mi Ma. Mi Ma. Mi means a secret. Ah, okay. Ma is a code. Ah, so a secret, secret code. code. Okay, oh, it's, it's <laughs> intriguing. <laughs> so could I say, um, could I just say, please, what is the wireless password? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, 请问, uh, I'll just go Wi-Fi. Uh-huh. Uh, Wi-Fi 密码是什么? 请问, Wi-Fi 密码是什么? 请问, Wi-Fi 密码是什么? Mm. Okay, right. We've got the Wi-Fi password. We connected to the Wi-Fi, but I realize that my computer is running out of battery so i need to plug it in however i don't have i don't have a chinese plug so how do i say i know we've done this before but remind us what's the word for an adapter so could i say uh 
有转 ，sorry， 转换器吗？对，你有转换器吗？你有转换器吗？嗯 ，OK， right， I'm surfing the net， I'm doing my emails or whatever， but it doesn't seem to be working. The Wi-Fi is not working. How would I say that? Ah.、Uh, <laughs> Wi-Fi is not working. Wi-Fi 用不了。用不了 meaning cannot use. Cannot use. Okay, so do I just say Wi-Fi 用不了、mm -hmm. right? Or nowadays, because we use English quite a lot in China, we you can say not working. Literal translation: 不工作 Working is 工作 Not working, 不工作 So is 工作 working as in your job? Is, yeah, it's the same. Kind of it's the same, exactly the、right. same. So a kind But, of English, English influenced sentence there.、Um, so Wi-Fi, or could I say、um, 无线网呃不工作可以 Right. Okay. I suppose all of this is when we're using our own machines, our own、uh, devices.、Mm. Um, but what about the situation where we might need to find internet access? So, are there internet cafes in in China?、Mm -hmm, a lot.、Mm -hmm. So, what would they be called? Wang ba. Wang ba. So that's the same Wang as in net. Net.、Uh -huh. And what's the ba? Pub. Oh right. Okay. So it's an internet pub.、Mm -hmm. uh, Wang ba. And okay, I want or to. Or a bar. Or, or a bar. bar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay.、Mm -hmm. um, so I want to to use a computer in the internet cafe.、Mm. I'm guessing that there's a high chance that the computer may be set to Chinese preferences. 对。Um, so how would I say? Can you please change this to English?、Mm -hmm. So you just need to learn the word change. Yeah. Yeah. 换成换成 Basically, change into. Yeah. Okay. So 请换成英文 All right. So just please change, change into English. English. Okay.、Mm. 请换成英文 mm. Okay. That all seems relatively straightforward. I think so far in this lesson we have covered all sorts of communication issues, things like dealing with phone calls, leaving messages, giving phone numbers, but also looking at using the internet too.、Yeah. And we hope that this has been useful.、Mm -hmm. Okay, now that is it for this episode of Coffee Break Chinese. We will be back, of course, next time with more Chinese for you. And next time we're going to be looking at a, a very important topic dealing with emergencies.、Mm. Once more, we hope that you never have to use the language in that lesson, <laughs> but it's really important to cover that. Of course, there is more in this episode in our bonus materials, and the, the bonus audio episode this time is another conversation. We're going to have bonus conversation、mm -hmm. where we're combining the topics from last time, looking at illnesses and things with phone calls.、Hey. You can find out all about these bonus materials at coffeebreakchinese dot com, where there's access to the audio materials, the video versions, and of course our lesson notes for all of the Coffee Break Chinese lessons. Don't forget, you can come behind the scenes with Mark and me and the rest of the Coffee Break team by following Coffee Break Languages on Instagram. Why don't you share your Coffee Break moment and post a photo of yourself learning Chinese with Coffee Break? We may even feature you on our Instagram account. Don't forget to hashtag Coffee Break Moments, and who knows, you may be featured. That's it for this lesson. See you. Thank you. You have been listening to a production of the Copy Break Academy for the Radio Lingua Network. Copyright 2017, Radio Lingua Limited. Recording copyright 2017, Radio Lingua Limited. All rights reserved.